morning i'm trying to do a quick video since i don't have enough storage on my phone to do a long one but i just wanted to recap of my there's my little man out there hanging out underneath the trees um a little recap of our um of my weekend and my presentation and just tell you what i'm dealing with and what i'm doing so um, I kind of did a little shout out at midnight. Um, yes, I am no longer keto. Um, I'm kind of happy to be back on my carbs. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's been good. It's been good. Except because I've been studying so much, I've been eating a lot of junk food. And I think that might be the inflammation issues. I'm definitely putting on some serious weight. But we'll deal with that after the exam, right? sport my eagle rock mug if you've never been there and you ever have a reason to go to eagle rock go it's in georgia it's a 4-h facility so anyways i did the presentation everybody loved it i definitely hit a need um that was needed in a kind of problem solving kind of way and ended up coming back with at least 30 people i'm working with to continue evolving this little idea I had because it was immediately, um, it had an immediate ability to be implemented in their own life. So that was like phenomenal, reassuring, so happy I did it. The only problem I am running into is I came home very motivated and excited and it is so hard to focus on my studies. So three weeks and a couple days, no three weeks in a day is this exam and I've been doing really good but I'm just kind of burning out on studying for it so thankfully tomorrow I found another environmental engineer locally that's taking the test I can't begin to tell you how awesome that is sorry I think I just walked in a spider web oh well all right let me not lose my mug as I open the door so one of the things I've done is moved uh, back into the schoolhouse i it's so easy to turn this place into a hot mess i'm not gonna lie i know i gotta shut the door i'm not doing a really good job at this don't fall off see i'm trying not to fall off the ledge anyway 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 so i'm having a hard time focusing and it's not that i have a hard time focusing i just don't want to focus on engineering i want to focus on 4-h i want to focus on kids i want to focus on youth development I want to focus on parliamentary procedures, um, homeschooling, everything else. Everything I shouldn't be. I have started rearranging. Part of the plan in here, the kids and I talked about, is they want a space to play. And I don't blame them. We don't have a lot of space to play. So we've been cleaning this up. I'm trying to get rid of, you know, these beautiful tables are awesome. I have the hardest time getting rid of them. So, um, I... I'm setting the space up here that this will be a library and playroom, a build room. Actually, so here's the plan. Here's the plan. Because y'all know this place pretty well, right? My husband's supposed to be taking those lockers out because those were always his idea. That he was going to fix a problem I didn't have. He's a man. He's a fixer. So, this room here is traditionally this front room. And actually, remember, back in the day, this was a bedroom. <laughs> We camped out in here when the house first flooded until we got everything worked out. But um, this has been a playroom, but it's really small. It's the walk-in. So this is going to turn into a TV lounge game room. So when they have friends over, they can have this space. And then we're going to, we're calling this the play build out library. They do a lot of Legos. They do a lot of building of stuff. So I'm getting rid of this table. The desk will get moved. But then I'm setting up a section that would be suited as a library. I am looking inflamed. <sighs> Pretty bad. But I'll get on that in a couple weeks. And then what was the sewing room has turned into the workroom. The office. The office. So it's going to be a, an office slash sewing room. So this is kind of where all the magic happens with my soda actually. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've got to get off the water or get on the water and off the soda because, well, for so many reasons. So that's kind of what's going on here. Um, we had um, a break week, a bye week of no CC. 
and you know we love CC we like what we are getting out of it but having a week of not going and us being able to come down and relax we're definitely having the struggle with um, it's very rigorous and we miss the vigor of our learning yeah so um, Sir Robinson something Robinson it's not um, it's not art Robinson with Robinson curriculum but it's um, this guy out of England and he talks about the difference between vigor and rigor and we're definitely having the feeling of vigor and rigor and we feel like we're doing something very rigorous which it is CC is very rigorous but we're missing our vigor we're missing our relax mode and so because of that like one day we're like oh this is great and this is awesome when we're done but the other part we just really miss the camaraderie of each other yeah and so because of that we're just like hmm what shall we do next year <laughs> we're finishing out the year because I'm committed I have to be committed I'm 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 contracted but um but with that We'll finish out the year, no problem. We like that we're doing it this year. We're learning so much. And we're learning so many, like, amazing skills doing CC this year. So, anyways, presentation was phenomenal. Got to help and connect with a lot of people. Um, I definitely came into my presentation with, we're here to have a conversation, not necessarily, I'm not here to teach at you. I'm here to, let's talk. Here's what I know. You know, and I did take a CC approach, which is kind of funny. I've learned so much doing CC. And, you know, let me give you the language. So, essentially, my presentation was how to use all the Google things in a way that would be productive for 4-H in the clubs. And so, the very first thing I did was taught them the language of Google. You know, all the Google apps we're talking about, the things you can do in Google. And then I said, okay, here's a method in order to kind of streamline your 4-H make things accessible one link is required and that's it nothing else and from there you can um do all these different things and almost set up google docs like a web page without it being a web page without having a web page mastery and making one link to get into this main page and from there you have different things available and everything prints up nice so the people who don't have internet access you can hand them pamphlets and so the cool part about it was I made it duplicatable. So everything I created, I created, which I've been creating a lot of this stuff for the last year with our 4-H program, that from there, I um, just generitized it. Is that even a word, generitized? I generitized it, and then I'm like, you guys, I made you the template. I taught you how to copy links. Now you have wait, a copy template. So that's what we did. So that's what we're doing. I'll try to get back to you next week. Just pray for me to focus on what I should be working on and not on what I need to wait to focus on the 1st of November. It's very hard. Look, I'm sporting this rope bracelet. My buddy Lance said in Georgia made that for me. He goes all over 4-H Georgia to teach this skill. So we're definitely going to bring that home here. And we're going to start working on some of these. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to talk to you later.